Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss very simple example. We have this function f of z is equal to log z and we have to separate into real and imaginary parts. That means we have to find its real part u of x, y and imaginary part v of x, y. So before starting the actual solution of this problem, we should recall something. Okay, so let us recall all those things and then we will solve this problem. So the first important thing that is any complex number can be expressed in three different ways. Z is equal to X plus I Y. We call it as Cartesian form. Z is equal to R cos theta plus I sin theta. We call it as polar form and Z is equal to R e raised to I theta. We call it as exponential form. See in next two forms we use R and theta and in first form we use X and Y. So obviously there is a relation between X Y and R theta. Let us recall that relation also. So see R is equal to the formula of R is square root of X square plus Y square theta which is tan inverse of Y by X. Get it? And one more thing X is equal to R cos theta and Y is equal to R sin theta. So the, uh, these are relations between R theta and X, Y. Get it? So here let us start to solve this problem. So let me write first we have. What is the function we have? Log Z. See we have to separate into real and imaginary parts. We have to find U of X, Y and V of X, Y. So generally what we do, we replace Z by X plus I, Y. Okay. And we separate out real and imaginary parts easily. But see this time that technique doesn't work. What will we do? We are going to replace Z by its exponential form. You can see here Z is equal to R, is, R e raised to I theta. Okay. So let us replace Z by R e raised to I theta. So log R e raised to I theta. So there is one property of log. Let me write here log A into B is equal to log A plus log b. So if there is a multiplication, we can we can write separate separate. Simply we have to write addition there. Here also I will do the same. There is a multiplication. So we can use that property log r plus log e raised to i theta. Basically that log is log base e. So that's why log and e will get cancelled to each other. So this is equal to log r and we will have simply i theta. But see what is value of r? r is nothing but square root of x square plus y square. So let us write it there. So log x square plus y square. Root is there that means raised to half plus i. Theta means what? Tan inverse of. Theta means what? Tan inverse of y by x. Okay. See there is one more property of log. Let me write here. Log a raised to n. See, when you have any power of a, we can write n log a. Okay, so that property of log I am going to use here. This is our a and this is its power. So if you have any power here, directly you can write as a multiple of log. So I can do the same. So this is equal to half. We can write here log x square plus y square and plus i tan inverse of y by x. Right. So this is real part. And this is imaginary part. So let me write there, just make a screenshot of it. So let us write real and imaginary parts. Okay, so the real part, this is half log x square plus y square, right? And imaginary part v of x, y, that means uh, the function which is multiple of i, that is tan inverse of y by x. So in this way, we found out real and imaginary part of given complex valued function. Make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you.